Domo, Amejin des. Today is another beginner Japanese lesson, lesson 12, asking what day of the week and who. Um, there's quite a little bit to review, just some vocabulary from lesson 4. Kore, sore, are, and nani. This, that, that over there, and what. Also recall the possessive noun no, or the possessive particle no. Also recall the days of the week, nichiyobi, getsuyobi, kayobi, suyobi, mokuyobi, kinyobi, and doyobi. All right. Our key sentence for today is, Sono hi wa nanyobi desu ka? Sono hi wa nanyobi desu ka? Uh, this is all our vocabulary for today. At the top we have nanyobi. Nanyobi, what day of the week? Party, party. Ibento, an event. Ibento. Sotsugyo shiki. Sotsugyo shiki, a graduation ceremony. Tsuitachi, the first day of the month. Matsujitsu, the last day of the month. Sengetsu, kongetsu, raigetsu, last month, this month, and next month, respectively. Kono, sono, ano, this thing, that thing, and that thing over there, respectively. And finally, the question word, dare, dare, who? Here we have our traditional Japanese calendar. Okay, and the first day of every month is known as Tsuitachi. Tsuitachi. You'll notice the kanji is literally one and then sun, or in this case, day. The first day, Tsuitachi. And the last day of the month is Matsujitsu. Matsujitsu. Okay. Let's get into our grammar asking what day of the week. So to ask what day of the week something is, like an event or a holiday, you can ask, uh, you can say this, Ewa. What day of the week is A? Okay, for example, What day of the week is the graduation ceremony? It's Saturday. Now we have our first activity. Use the calendar to answer each question in Japanese. Go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve this right now. Number one, sotsugyo shiki wa nai desu ka? Well, looking at the calendar, we can see that sotsugyo shiki, the graduation ceremony, is right here on the 26th. Go up, that would be Thursday, or mokuyobi. Mokuyobi desu. Hai, niban. Number two, hanae san no party wa nai desu ka? So, hanae is someone's name, hanae. Eh, san, remember, is the polite suffix like Mr., Mr., Ms., Mr. Mrs. or Ms. Um, it really means much more than that, but this is Hanai's party, so it's on the second here, which is Monday. So we could say, Getsuyobi des. Getsuyobi des. Hai, Samba. Number three. Daigaku no ibento wa nanyobi desu ka? Daigaku no ibento wa nanyobi desu ka? Daigaku, remember, is university. And we're using the possessive no particle here, so Daigaku no is the university's event. Daigaku no evento. And that is the 21st right here on Saturday, or in Japanese, doyobi, doyobi desu. Number four, kongetsu no tsuitachi wa nanyobi desu ka? So remember from our vocabulary, kongetsu means this month. So, kongetsu no tsuitachi, this month's First day or the first day of this month. Wa nanyobi desu ka? Nanyobi desu ka? What day of the week is the first day of this month? First day of the week is right here on Sunday. Nichiyobi, nichiyobi desu would be the answer. Number five. Kongetsu no matsujitsu wa nanyobi desu ka? So what is the last, well, what day of the week is the last day of this month? Is what it is asking. Here's the last day of the month. That is on a Tuesday, day of fire. Kayobi, kayobi desu. And there are the answers in bold. Moving on. Immediately, another activity, activity two. Use the calendars to answer each question. The day in light green is kyo. Number, go ahead, pause it, uh, try it on your own. I'm going to answer it right now. Number one, kyo wa nanyobi desu ka? Well, here's the light green day representing kyo, and it looks like it is Thursday. Mokuyobi, mokuyobi desu. Number two. Ah, I forgot the furigana on top, but you should remember that this is ashita, tomorrow. 
明日は何曜日ですか Well, assuming this is today, tomorrow is this day right here. So, our、uh, Friday, 金曜日。金曜日です。I also forgot the furigana on here. This is 昨日、昨日、yesterday. は何曜日でしたかでしたか Past tense, right? What day was yesterday?、Uh, well, here's today. Here's yesterday. 水曜日でした。水曜日でした。It was. Wednesday. Number four. 今月の1日は何曜日でしたか What was the first day of this month? So here's this month, right? This is 今月 And 1日 the first day is here.、Uh, this is Monday. 月曜日 So we can say 月曜日でした月曜日でした5番 Number five. 今月の末日は何曜日ですか So here's 今月 this month. 末日 is the final day or the 30th in this case. And that is Tuesday. 火曜日です。火曜日です。Number six. 来月の1日は何曜日ですか来月 is, if you remember, next month. So we're talking about this calendar now, the next、um, calendar month.、Uh, and 1日 is the first day, which is right here. It looks like it's a Wednesday, so, 水曜日です would be the answer. 水曜日です And、uh, bang, number seven. 来月 next month. の、えー、末日は何曜日ですか末日 being the last day of 来月 next month, right here on the 31st. And that would be 金曜日金曜日です Friday. Here are all the answers in bold. Moving on,、uh, let's talk about three very useful and important words. Kono, sono, and ano. So, kore, sore, and are, you learned already. These are nouns, and you cannot put them next to another noun to make something like this pen or that chair.、Um, to do that, you need kono, sono, and ano.、Uh, I remember these being the adjectival、uh, versions of kore, sore, and are because. They, use, they end in no. And usually, no is、uh, a possessive particle, right? It can link two nouns together, which, which is why it really works here in kono, sono, and ano. So we have these two people. Again, you'll probably recognize this from a previous lecture. I'm going to bring back a bunch of things, well, a few things from previous lectures. For this lecture, you've got these two blue people here and a chair. Recall the word for chair is isu. If the lady in blue here wanted to say this chair, she would say, Kono isu, kono isu, kono isu. If, however, the guy wanted to mention that chair, he could say, Sono isu, that chair, right there. If either of them wanted to mention a chair that was far away, either of them could say, Ano isu, ano isu, wa, whatever, whatever, okay. So,、um, kono, sono, and ano can also be used for abstract concepts. Like in English, we often say this fact or that event or that day long ago.、Um, you can also use this in Japanese the same way. Kono jijitsu, sono evento, ano hi. Right? It's also important to note that ano or are、uh, is usually used for things that happen far away in time. So, either far in the past or maybe far in the future. All right, ano hi, that day long ago. Activity three, let's use this conversation to answer these two questions. So let's read、uh, the conversation here. You can pause the video and try it yourself if you want. I'm going to go through it right now. The woman says, Sono evento wa nan desu ka? And he says, Sotsugo shiki desu. Maybe they're looking at some kind of event in the distance, or maybe she's looking at a flyer with a picture of this. Sotsugyo shiki, this graduation ceremony with some details, and maybe she doesn't know anything about it. This guy is answering questions for her. He says, Sotsugyo shiki desu, it's a graduation ceremony. She then says, Sore wa itsu desu ka? When is that? Remember, itsu, when. He says, Raishu desu, it's next week. Raishu. She says, Nan yobi desu ka? She's asking for more information, so next week, what day? What day of the week? And he replies with, Nichi yobi desu, Nichi yobi desu. Okay? So, question one asks, What event are these two talking about? And we know right here 
It's a 卒業式。卒,卒業式です。Number two, そのイベントはいつですか、um, Actually, she, the lady here, asked the same question. それはいつですか、um, We could say 来週 but I think it would be more accurate to say 来週の日曜日です。来週の日曜日です。So remember, you always start with the larger Item first. So, daishu is very general. Nichiyobi gets specific. So, daishu no nichiyobi desu. That's how it works in Japanese. And here are the answers in bold. I have a challenge question for you here in red. Can you turn this conversation into an informal one? This is a challenge question, so I'm not going to just give the answer right here. I will give you a hint. You know, remember to turn things informal, get rid of desu. And mas,、uh, we don't have any mas here, but get rid of des,、um, and if it's des ka, just add a question mark and raise the pitch of your voice. You can go ahead and answer、uh, or reproduce this conversation in an informal tone in the comment section below if you want. I'm sure there will be many people who will do that. Moving on to asking who, this is the third grammar point in our, le- in our lecture today. You can ask who someone is. Uh, by attaching kono, sono, and ano、uh, to like, the word hito for person you learned in the past,、uh, plus dare. And dare means who. Okay? For example, sono hito wa dare desu ka? Sono hito wa dare desu ka? Tanaka desu. Tanaka desu. Who is that person? It's Tanaka, or just Tanaka. More informally, we would just drop wa and desu ka, and it would look like this. Ano hito dare? ano hito dare? ano hito dare? So that person over there, who are they? <laughs> who is that person over there? Arisa desu. Arisa desu.、Oh, not desu, right? This is informal. So desu becomes da. Arisa da. You could also just say arisa. Arisa. Either way is very informal and fine. Okay, <laughs> activity four. I was kind of excited for this one. It's kind of a very messy, convoluted activity, but it's, it can be fun nonetheless. So, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to go through it right now. Let's start it on the left side and then make our way to the right. We have people in pairs and they're talking about other people. Maybe this is a speed dating event. I don't know. Maybe this is a party and people just want to know who's who.、Um, but everyone's asking, Who is that person? Who is that person over there? Well, you're going to see right now. We've got people in pairs.、Uh, so, Bob, Bob, and Tracy. Tracy Tureishi asks, Sono hito wa dare desu ka? Sono hito wa dare desu ka? And by the arrow, we know that she's talking about Arison. So, Bob, assuming he knows who that is, would say, Arison desu. Arison desu. It's Allison. All right. Let's go around this way in our web. Jack, Jack asks, Ano hito wa dare desu ka? Ano hito wa dare desu ka?、Uh, and he, look, he's using ano because、uh, his arrow, his distance, is kind of far away from Bob. Roji, Rosie replies, assuming she knows, Bob desu. So right here you would write Bob desu.、Okay. Going up here following the arrows, we have Kering. 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 I think I meant to write Keren, like Karen, but I wrote Kering. Oh well. And Morgan, Morgan, Morgan.、Okay. Kering asks, Sono hito wa dare desu ka? She's looking at Roji. And Morgan would probably say, Roji, Roji desu. Roji desu. It's Rosy. Let's go up here to David and、uh, Angelica. Angelica. David though, is looking at Mo again and asks, Sono hito wa dare desu ka? And Angelica n- knows who it is and says, Mo again desu. Mo again desu. Hi.、Uh, let's go over here to Zach and Rita. Rita and Zach. Zach asks, Ano hito wa dare desu ka? Rita says, Angelica desu. Angelica desu. Hi. And finally, this kind of outlier group here. We have aha, 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 Betty. We have Betty and Betty. This guy, let's just call him、um, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronald. And Betty. I forgot to change his name. Sorry about that. Anyways, 
the real Betty says, ano hito wa dari desu ka? She's looking at Yuto over here in the corner. Poor Yuto, he's all alone. And Ronaldo says, Yuto desu, because he knows, right? Here are all the answers in bold. Moving on. Um, so we can attach the possessive no to dare to turn to make the word whose, okay? For example, sono kuruma wa dare no desu ka? Sono kuruma wa dare no desu ka? And then you could reply, watashi no desu, watashi no desu, hai. It's mine, right? Activity 5, based on the information below, answer the, each question in Japanese. You might remember this activity. It's one uh, from a previous lecture. I, I literally pulled the exact same thing and just changed the questions a little bit to fit our lesson. Uh, I hope you remember the words for cat, dog, car, house, book, and pencil. Pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one. Kono neko wa dare no desu ka? Kono neko wa dare no desu ka? Whose cat is this? Whose cat is this? Well, who owns a cat? Jessie. Jessie no desu. Jessie no. You have to add no after Jessie uh, because it means Jessie's. It's that apostrophe S after her name. Jessie no desu. Kono enpitsu wa dare no desu ka? Well, the only person to own an enpitsu is Alex. Alex. So we would say Alex no desu. Alex no. Alex no desu. Number three is, uh, kono hon wa dare no desu ka? The only person with a hon or a book is yuto. So we can say, yuto no desu, yuto no desu. Number four, inu wa dare no desu ka? Inu wa dare no desu ka? Notice I'm, for the first three questions, I use kono, kono neko, kono enpitsu, kono hon. Um, and I added intentionally their uh, figures or their symbols here so that I could use kono. But for four, five, and six, I didn't add their figures or their symbols here. Um, so I left out the kono, right? Because kono implies that it's right here. <laughs> this thing, kono thing, right? So number four, inu wa dare no desu ka? Well, who owns a dog? Yuto. Eh, inu wa yuto no desu. Yuto no desu. Number five, kuruma wa dare no desu ka? The only person who owns a car is Jessie. Eh, kuruma wa Jessie no desu. Jessie no desu. Rokuban. Number six, ie wa, ie wa dare no desu ka? Dare no desu ka? The only person with a house is Alex. So, uh, we would say Alex no desu. Alex no desu. Hai. And there are the answers. Uh, ending our lesson with a listening practice, I'm going to read two compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear. Pause the video if you need more time. Starting now, number one. Kino wa nan youbi deshita ka? Kino wa nan youbi deshita ka? Pause the video if you need more time. The answer is. Kino wa nan youbi deshita ka? What was the day yesterday? What day was yesterday? Number two. Sono ibento wa dare no ibento desu ka? Sono ibento wa dare no ibento desu ka? The answer for that one is. Sono ibento wa dare no ibento desu ka? Whose event is that event? All right. And activity seven, our translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Pause the video, take your time. I'm gonna show you the answers right now. Haruka no sotsugyo shiki wa nanyobi desu ka? Haruka, Haruka is someone's name, a girl's name, Haruka. And the English is, what day of the week is Haruka's graduation ceremony? You could also say just what day is Haruka's graduation ceremony? Um, but I added of the week because we're being very specific here. Nanyobi, nanyobi, what day of the week? The bottom guy says, who is that person? Who is that person? Sono hito wa dare desu ka? Sono hito wa dare desu ka? 
who is that person? その人 OK? Going back to our key sentence, we have その日は何曜日ですかその日は何曜日ですか So literally,、uh, the, as for that day, what day of the week is it? What day of the week is that day? Maybe you're looking at some kind of pamphlet and it says the 14th or the 15th,、um, or maybe it's Tsuitachi, the first, or Matsujitsu, the last day of the month, or whatever. And then you can ask this Sono hi wa nai y o b i desu ka? Okay. All right, your homework for this lecture. Look up your graduation ceremony day or any other big event in your life if you're not a student、uh, birthdays, vacations, stuff like that. And ask yourself, その日は何曜日ですか Answer in Japanese. Of course,、uh, there's always a worksheet for every lesson. There's one for this one as well. Go to my website, download that sucker, and fill it out.、Um, link in the description. I have noticed、um, that the worksheets that I've been making up to this point have been kind of small in terms of font size. So I'm sorry if you've been printing these out. And the fonts have been super, super small. I just realized that today, so I'm, from now on, I'm gonna start making them a little larger and easier to read. My apologies. Otherwise, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another lecture. Bye bye.